Hi, this is Eric Skaggs, and the following demonstration is from my SharePoint 2010 development training course. But, in this scenario, wouldn't it be great if a user could simply activate the feature and have the brand applied instead of having to go through SharePoint Designer? Know how to use the Master Pages section, right click it, set as default, Let's actually set it back to V4 and refresh the site again. Now it's going back to its original SharePoint look and feel. So again, we've successfully deployed a master page from Visual Studio that we designed with SharePoint Designer, but now not only do I want to deploy the file to put the file in the correct location, I also actually want to apply the master page to the site after it's been deployed. So we'll do that next. In order to apply the master page after we've deployed it, we're going to just close out these files that we have. So far in Visual Studio, everything I've put in place, this module deploys the master page, and then I've got my other mapped folders that simply tell SharePoint where to store files. But now basically what I want to do is based upon where I've activated this feature, I want to apply the master page to the site. So in order to do this, I'm going to right click the feature and add an event receiver to this feature. And of course it gives me everything I need. I'm going to simply uncomment the feature activated method. And in this case, we'll go ahead and uncomment the feature deactivating method as well. In the feature activated method, I want to apply the Global Mantics master page. And in the feature deactivating method, I want to set it back to use v4.master. And what I'm going to do now is paste in the code that I need. And that's in the activating method. So let's walk through this. On line 24, I reference the current site collection. On line 25, from that current site collection, I reference the top level website. Then we create a URI which equals the URL of the top level website plus the relative path to the master page. That gives me the URI and then what I, what I do is I take that top level web and set its master URL property to be the absolute path of that URI and as with all things SharePoint when you make a change to an existing object you have to update it. So five lines of code make my custom master page take effect. In the feature deactivating method, we're going to have the exact same code, but simply change global mantics to v4.master. Let's take a moment to review that. Reference the site, reference the web, create a URI, then set the master URL of the root web to equal that URI in its absolute path, and then we simply call update. So now, let's save all of our changes. We'll come over to Visual Studio. We'll right click, deploy our solution now. Keeping an eye on the output window, it's retracting the old solution. It removed the old master page and it's now added and deployed the solution. So now we'll switch over to the site and refresh it. And we'll click refresh. You'll notice here that it takes a moment for the site to refresh because what we've done from Visual Studio is we deployed a solution, then we retracted and redeployed the solution. Typically this causes the application pool in IIS that's hosting this website to recycle. And the reason this delay is here is because we're waiting for that application pool to spin back up to start up the worker process. Now our site has been refreshed and if we were to go into site settings, Let's just double check the master page gallery. And you can see in the master page gallery there is no globalmantics.master. So that's a good sign. We'll now go to site settings, go to site collection features, and scroll down and activate the training branding feature. And what should happen when I activate this is the master page should be deployed and applied to the site. So by clicking this button we should see an instant change in the look and feel. And we do. Just like that, 
my training registration portal now has the Global Mantics brand applied to it. It's got the logo. We can right click the logo and look at its properties. We can see that it's coming from the layouts directory. It's actually a file on the server. Obviously our style sheet's being pulled incorrectly because our ribbon is taking on that custom style. And if I wanted to change this back to SharePoint at any point, I could simply go to site settings, find that feature under site collection features, deactivate it, and now it looks like SharePoint yet again. But for our purposes going forward, we're going to go back in and make sure that feature is active and stays active. So now we've got a nice training registration portal that looks and feels like Global Mantics. And going forward, we'll have a nicer looking site. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.